Hello, it's Monday Thursday and I'm reading from John 13. Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his dear companions, he continued to love them right to the end. It was supper time. The devil by now had Judas Iscariot firmly in his grip, all set for the betrayal. Jesus knew that the Father had put him in complete charge of everything, that he came from God and was on his way back to God. So he got up from the supper table, set aside his robe and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of his disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, you wash my feet. Jesus answered, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but it will be clear enough to you later. Peter persisted, You're not going to wash my feet ever. Jesus said, If I don't wash you, you can't be a part of what I'm doing. Master, said Peter, not only my feet then, wash my hands, wash my head. Jesus said, if you've had a bath in the morning, you only need to wash your feet now and you're clean from head to toe. My concern, you see, is holiness, not hygiene. So now you're clean. But not every one of you. He knew who, he, who was betraying him and that's why he said, not every one of you. After he had finished washing their feet, he took his robe, put it back on and went back to his place at the table. Then he said, do you understand what I have done to you? You address me as teacher and master and rightly so, for that is what I am. So if I, the master and teacher, washed your feet, you must now wash each other's feet. I've laid down a pattern for you. What I've done, you do. I'm only pointing out the obvious. A servant is not ranked above his master. An employee doesn't give orders to the employer. If you understand what I'm telling you, act like it and live a blessed life. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is seen for who he is, and God seen for who he is in him. The moment God is seen in him, God's glory will be on display. In glorifying him, he himself is glorified, glory all around. Children, I am with you now for only a short time longer. You are going to look high and low for me. But as I told the Jews, I'm telling you, where I go, you are not able to come. Let me give you a new command. Love one another. In the same way I loved you, you love one another. This is how everyone will recognise that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other. Today is uh, Monday Thursday, and sometimes referred to as Holy Thursday, and it's a part of the Christian celebration of Easter, marks the night of the Last Supper, the day before Good Friday. Here in the UK, the Queen takes part in the ceremony of the Royal Monday, where she gives coins, the royal called Monday money, to deserving senior citizens. And if it were not for COVID, I'm sure we would see pictures of her in Westminster Abbey today. But not this year. Monday comes from the Latin word for command and refers to Jesus' commandment to the disciples to love one another as I have loved you. We've just read this in our scripture reading. This year, we have seen an outpouring of service to others the NHS, the teachers, supermarket workers, just to name but a few. But we've also seen an outpouring of service and love to others from individuals. As Christians, our servant heart has been put to a huge test. And I think we have followed our Saviour's commands with a very loving heart. Many of us have done supermarket shopping for those who have been shielding. We've walked dogs, we've cooked meals, we've been there as a listening ear during troubled times. 
Our churches have done amazing work in the local communities and making up food parcels for the lonely and the vulnerable, amongst many other things. But the roadmap to lockdown is now well underway. Life will get back to normal, perhaps not the normal we know from our past, and we have to guard against losing the momentum which is built up for caring and serving others. Just because the lockdown is over, COVID is still there. And we cannot allow our servant hearts from closing down just because the path seems clear now. We need to make sure that we keep Jesus at the centre, continue to learn from him, be humble in our dealings with others, committed to our life of service and our love for others, even in the simple things. After all, reaching out to others, being the hands and the feet of Jesus is one of the greatest callings we have in our faith. Let's continue to make ourselves available to serve, not just physically, but emotionally too. Let's not miss opportunities. Keep our minds alert to what is going on around us. Perhaps you are scared to set yourself up for a fall. Remember, as Christians, we walk under the wings of the angel armies. God will always be by your side. Let's never stop loving one another as Jesus loved us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we ask for a heart that seeks to serve more than being served. Help us to see with your eyes and think with your mind. Keep us alert to those who need our help, our neighbours, our friends, our families, strangers. Dear Jesus, in the last 12 months, our lives and our world have changed dramatically. But there is a deepening desire and a longing for intimacy with you. When we step out in faith to serve others, let us feel your presence in our lives. We pray that you surround our hearts with your love. Today is Monday Thursday. We remember your son in the garden. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the care and for the love you have for everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.